Hundreds of LGBT activists gathered in front of the Supreme Court on Tuesday to rally for same-sex marriage. Activists argued that same-sex couples should be able to marry because love is love and knows no bounds. Can you tell me what this case is about? It's about equality. It's about love. It's about making sure people essentially can get what everybody can have. Uh, the case is about extending religious or extending marriage rights for all people. Are you optimistic about the outcome? Of course. <laughs> and are you optimistic about the outcome? Absolutely. I think so. I, I think uh, it's finally time for everyone to be able to get married to the person they're in love with. But their answers varied when it came down to offering marriage a new definition. Some demonstrators defined marriage as a covenant between two people who love each other. Uh, that's an entirely different issue and that's a really far-fetched uh, argument. Uh, clearly, covenant love is between one person and one person. We're not talking about polygamy, we're not talking polyamory, we're not talking bestiality. Those are entirely different issues, and that's quite frankly a smokescreen by fundamentalists to cloud an issue that isn't there. Others argued that the definition of marriage is even more subjective than that. Well, there are many different issues. My personal opinion of it is that morality is relative. I think that's a very different story. People are like, well, if love is love, then what about marriage equality for polygamists? What do you guys think about that? Um, you know what, I've, I haven't really thought about that one. Um, what about yeah, you? I, I haven't really thought about that one either. I mean, it's certainly an argument. My basic golden rule is, are you harming yourself for others? We are, it, it's a very, I think, traditional, the traditional marriage is, is two people who love each other. Like, we're not talking about anything else. That it's up to, e you know, each other to decide, or each individual to decide what's right for them. But that's just my personal opinion. May not reflect the views of everyone, but that's mine. <laughs> If you love more than one person, who's to say you can't marry them? Yeah, I definitely, I definitely agree in equality for all, and I definitely don't think it's okay to discriminate against um, polygamists. I, I really am not very educated on the topic. If we can deter, come to a determination through careful consideration that there is not, they're not harming themselves or others, then I am for any law of any stripe. Marriage equality for polygamists, you're not opposed to it? or I am not opposed to it personally. So the definition of traditional marriage is between two people that love each other, period, is what you're saying. I'm saying this is a very, it's a, it, it, it doesn't, it's, there, there's no tradition behind necessarily that. It, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, I, I was saying it's like, it's like very, um, the definition is subjective because it's right. well, about yeah. love. Yeah. I mean, marriage is, you know, a legal term, right? You know, a lot of gay activists are saying marriage is between a person and a person who love each other. They're not necessarily for polygamy. So you you stand, you know, outside of that crowd. I stand for anyone with an idea. I stand for anyone who dares to say something different. Who dares to say, "Hey, this is what's going on right now." This needs to change. With MRC TV, I'm Monica Sanchez.